Free RTOS Plus FAT SL is the market proven DOS compatible FAT file system that ships with Free RTOS. The SL stands for Super Lean and we gave it that name because of its truly tiny flash and RAM footprint. It actually takes less than 1k of RAM. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the standard file system demo application which is available on a number of different hardware platforms including the Windows simulator so you can try it without any hardware. The demo uses the FreeRTOS command line interface FreeRTOS plus CLI which is why I have this uh, TerraTerm window open here. I'm going to connect through a serial port or have connected through a serial port already. Before we look at the demonstration, we'll have a quick look at the demo project here. Now this demo is actually doing an awful lot more than just uh, the file system. So um, I will only demonstrate here or show you here the bits which are actually relevant to the file system. Well, first of all, we have the FreeRTOS kernel code itself. Then here we have the FATSL source code. This project and all the source code and everything you can download off the URL that you see on the screen. There's the common code for the source of the file system. And we also have the command line interface code here as well. These are all standard FreeRTOS Plus components. Now in here I have already implemented a set of file system related command line commands in this file here and we can see this just uses the standard FreeRTOS command line interface extensible uh, command definitions. So here I have a, the, the the normal structure which I filled in to implement a, com a CD command change directory. So we have the CD command string which we enter to actually run the command. The string that's printed out when we type help there's one parameter which is the directory we are switching to, changing to, and there is the function that actually implements the command. If we have a quick look there we'll see the normal command line interface uh, parameter parsing function, that's all standard stuff. Here we have the chdir or change directory API function from the file system itself. We're also going to print out the directory that we change into. So there is the other file system API function used by this particular command, which is get CWD or current working directory. So let's go back here. Now when this demo starts up, the file system is used to create a set of files. This is actually using a RAM disk to make it as portable as possible. So if I type dir there, we can see the files that are created. There are three files named root001 and up to root003.txt. It tells you they are writable files and gives you their sizes. Like I say, the source code for this, how these commands are implemented is all provided. You can implement your own commands as well. We can also see that there is a directory called sub1. So if I go into sub1 using the command we've just seen the implementation of and then do dir again, we'll see that there aren't any files in that directory but there is another subdirectory. So we can go into sub2 dir and now we see there is a file there called sub2.txt. I can view the contents of that file by doing type sub2.txt and there the contents are shown as just an incrementing value starting with ASCII 0. I used ASCII characters so you can actually view it through the terminal window there. We'll try another command now so I'll say copy sub 2.txt and we won't copy it into the same directory we'll copy it one directory down and to make it obvious we'll call it copied.txt so if I then go cd into the directory below, dir again, and there we can see the file that we have copied. And we'll just check its contents are the same. So type copied.txt and you can see the files are, or the contents of the file is identical. We can go back down to the root directory and have a look at these files again. If I type 
root 003.txt, we can see that file is just full, filled with threes. I can also delete root 3, oops, get that right, 003.txt, dir again, and we can see that the file is now gone.